everybody, Atori here from Cloudbeds, and welcome to our new series of videos where Christy and I, we get to talk a little bit about our experience and how Cloudbeds made our life easier as operators before joining here at this amazing company. Christy, what's up over there? Hi, we're pretty good here. We're in Munich, that's not so sunny today, um, at one of the properties. So I am an independent hotelier with two properties, one in Peru and one in Munich. It means that having a cloud-based solution is a lifesaver. Um, and today we're gonna to talk about the dashboard, which is one of the things that has really made my life a lot easier. Um, but before we get into that, um, Ettore, why don't you give us a little bit of your background? So I'm almost the opposite of you. You've been working with small independent hotels. I was working with a massive thousand plus room resorts uh, with amusement parks in France, in the US, and then I moved to a cruise line in Vietnam, mostly uh, high-end properties, and then working with restaurants, hotel cruises, like this huge group based in Vietnam, uh, everything very, very high-end. And we're also operating on cloud beds, especially for the cruises, where we're able to run them just like hotels, but with very restrict check-in and check-out times, which was very interesting, because of course the boats move. Um, but cloud beds made our life so much easier because we were operating everything from headquarters that were uh, four hours driving away from actually the bay where the boats are based and being able to do everything by distance is amazing. So um, without further ado, I would love to hear about your experience with the dashboard and how this made your life easier operating things from two different continents. Yeah, so the, so I, like I said before, the, the, the dashboard is a lifesaver for us because it lets me get sort of a really good overview of what's going on in the properties in the morning when you open up your laptop or even from your phone while you're drinking a coffee. You can see sort of who's arriving, what departures we have today and how many of the accommodations are booked. Um, one of our favorite things is this reservation here on the left. You can see the little card in the corner. The first person in, in the morning will print reservation cards so that everything's prepared and check-ins can go as smoothly as possible because we all know that we hate a long check-in line. Um, so this has really helped reduce that, especially us who came from pen and paper before. Um, so here you can see all arrivals. This needs to be empty by the time the day is done. So all of these people should have arrived and they should have been checked in. The same with departures. By the end of the day, departures should be empty and we should have everybody that has to leave the, the hotel should have left the hotel already. Um, this really lets people know sort of these are my tasks for the day. And this is one of my favorite things. What about you? What's your, what's your favorite dashboard? Well, I'm a sales guy, so I love being able to create reservations here and just cash in very quickly from there. <laughs> But uh, the fact also that you have the activities here, we can have an idea of how well we're performing and just seeing how many bookings came in today, even cancellations. It's amazing to have a channel manager built inside of the property management system because as soon as something is canceled, a guest has um, just gives a call, say, hey, I won't be able to make it. Hey, no problem. As soon as that's canceled, that room is back on sale and we have a maximum possible time to sell that again and get that revenue back up. And then when it comes back a little bit more into a longer term planning, but not as long as report, we can look at 14 days in the future and just say, hey, what do I need to do in this 14 days? Like I see here, Friday the 13th, of course, we're not doing very well because it's Friday the 13th. So maybe it's time to do a special promotion. Maybe we need to uh, activate some social media marketing, do something in there that is going to boost um, our last minute reservations and vice versa sometimes we see a day like it's a tuesday night that normally we're not very busy but suddenly we see that we're doing pretty well hey that's time to get a little bit of the money up because we know that we're going to be full and it's amazing to be able to plan that i think you also told me before you use that to plan a bit staffing and, and how the activities will go right yeah so we obviously you try to get your numbers up as much as possible um, but there are some days where you'll have lower, lower bookings. So you'll have lower reservations within the system and you'll be able to see, okay, tomorrow I don't need two people on staff for the front desk. I just need one person or the people that are there, their time can be repurposed into doing something else. As a small hotel, using your resources as smartly as possible is really important to us. And then also when we have days that we see it's kind of crazy, um, and it's going to be super full for a week, then we make sure that we staff accordingly. 
so that we have people checking in, but also someone who can attend to guests so that you're never sort of just waiting in a line. And this sort of helps the, the guest experience. And also CloudBeds in general has allowed us to sort of free our employees from doing menial tasks to be able to talk to guests and make sure that the guests are happy. And that's been a total game changer. And that's ultimately what we're here for, right? We're here for the guests, not to spend time just typing things on a machine. So um, that's uh, definitely something that I absolutely love about the entire system, actually, is how it makes our life simple and allows us to focus on our guests, which are the most important part. Um, Chrissy, thanks for joining us today. Uh, it is our pleasure to be here, and we are looking forward to our next video. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.